Hey guys, Jan here at North New Model Shop. Uh, this video, or a series, I don't know what we're going to do, a series of videos or one big one, is going to chronicle the attempt to airbrush correctly. Um, our canvas is going to be a NASCAR stock car body. This has been primed, one coat primer, uh, wet sanded, uh, 1200 to then 2000. Uh, burned a few little couple holes in the primer. So I went back, sprayed again, clear coat, or uh, wet sanded again. And it turned out very smooth. It's almost like a silk. It's, it's. I think it's ready to go. What this is going to be the experiment. We're going to be using a Badger 350. Um, I was told that this was a good one to go with. The price is right. This is about a hundred bucks for this kit. It came with the Badger, uh, two mixing cups, the little shoehorn unit, and then a, uh, a light, a medium, and a heavy uh, tip. Uh, the thing I really like about this is it's made in the USA, none of this Chinese crap. Um, you really can't go wrong with this one. Like I said, uh, just your standard air compressor as well. I mean, it's just a Canadian tire, cheapy unit. It seemed to work well. The paint I'm going to attempt to do is this blue. It's uh, just the tester's uh, enamel blue, thinned with tester's universal enamel thinner. I've mixed it to the ratio in the box, which is three parts paint to two parts thinner. It's right here. Sounds good, looks good. It's so far the best first attempt of mix I've got. So, the gun or the uh, airbrush is primed, the tank is ready to go, this is ready to put in. So, the next time you see this car, it's either going to look like crap or it's going to be a really nice colored blue. So, anyway, we're going to give it a shot. I'll see you guys shortly. Hey guys, Jan here, the North View Model Shop Paint Booth, which is actually just my wood shed, or wood room, sorry. Uh, the concrete wall, you can test any paints here, it's, it's no loss, right? In the winter, this is all carbon wood anyway, right? Uh, the only outside you put, I don't see is you've got your rafters in here. Really, if you're going to have doing any painting, you should put like a sheet of uh, chipboard or mylar or something upstairs here so that your the dirt and stuff doesn't fall down in. But I don't really keep my wet stuff in here, I just do a quick spray, then it goes back over the shop and I let it gas over there because I have ventilation in there. What we're going to do is do a little experiment with airbrushing. And when you always airbrush, wear respirators because there's a lot of crap in the air. You don't want to get that. A little trick Dr. Cranky kind of showed in one of his videos. He likes a spoon. I like the little the little solo cup here because you can drive a screw down through the top of it, the bottom of it. So it sits in here and you keep away. You can set up your airbrush this way. These are cheap. And, well, a spoon's great too because you can use it afterwards. You use it before, maybe try it afterwards. But this, you can drink out of it. When you're done drinking, you can, uh, you can paint it. So here we are, the blue that we talked about at one point earlier. It's mixed two or three parts paint to two parts thinner. My jiggy and an air uh, badger 350. So let's give it a shot here. About 20 pounds of air. Let's give it a shot and see what we're getting for coverage. And you see, I don't know if it's not. You know you've got a good mix when your paint is more interested in sticking to the cup. The rolling off. I've done this before with a poor mix, and as you spray this cup, you could go like this, and it'd be look like that. I look like I got a really good coverage here. It's really good stuff. So I think I'm gonna, I'm pretty confident that I can now spray the NASCAR bodied car, and we'll see what we get. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next video. We'll see how she does. Good luck.
Hey guys, well, you just seen the video of me spraying. Uh, if any of you can tell me what I did wrong, or you know what went wrong, it'd be awesome. But I think I know what happened, so I'm going to explain it. As you notice, as I start, you hear it go, and then pssst. The problem that I hit is it's a very, what I'm using is a very cheap regulator. And when I set it up, just doing quick spurts, my pressure would hit 20 PSI. What you didn't know, what I didn't know at first was when you make a pass the length of this vehicle, about halfway down the door, it would drop about three pounds, and I was getting very poor coverage. So that was why it should have just been like I should have uh, the airbrush upstairs cleaning. So we use a pen. Should have kind of been the nice, clean three or four passes here, and the whole car would have done. I was, you know, a wide fan. Also, it was almost like a pin, pin striping the whole way. So the coverage here is not that great. I guess it's okay. Um, could be a lot better. Um, I noticed I was going to keep going, but I figured I was going to lay down way too much material. I was going to start making runs. So let this dry. Um, I'm going to, th I think I'm going to experiment. I'm going to wet sand this. Um, I think I'm probably like the 1500, 2000, or if I can try to find a bit higher than that, the 2000, 2400, maybe something like that range, 2200, whatever this next one up. Wet sand this out and then set my airbrush up correctly next time, watching for that massive pressure drop that I'm, uh, that I'm exper or experiencing. Spray it again then see what I have. Then probably, like, probably into wet sand. I don't know, then if I, I think you do another coat of color, we'll find out. And then let it dry out. We'll get clear, but we'll do that later. But I'm very impressed, very happy with my with my mixture. It's, uh, it is three parts paint, two parts thinner with an enamel using the tester's thinner. It's on the side of the cam. I'm stressing the numbers and, and the mixing ratio because I've experimented now for a year trying to get my right paint. And I'm embarrassed to say it, but every time I get a quote from somebody, be it 8 to 1, 12 to 1, 3 to 1, 10 to 1, all these crazy numbers, I always mixed it thinner first, paint second. And I was getting just messes, just horrible messes, frustration. Decide to screw the, paint, or the airbrush, I'm going to go to rattle cam. So I made the mistake of misinterpreting the ratios. It is always paint over thinner. Three parts paint, two parts thinner for gloss. Now I believe on the side of the can it's saying for flat colors is three parts paint to one part thinner. Uh, that is the ratio that Dr. Cranky had given me and when he had pointed it out to me that's where I all of a sudden I get this sick feeling in my stomach knowing that I made the most embarrassing mistake uh, in airbrushing you could do is mixing your paint backwards. But it was a learning experience so like I said I'm happy with my mix. We're going to keep experimenting here guys and hopefully I, at the end of this, will be able to give you a number for mixing these to make them perfect every time, or at least perfect for me. Anyway, I'm going to go rock a jacuzzi sage and let this paint dry out, maybe spray another one, and we're going to keep this series going. Alright guys, have a good one. Bye. Hey guys, here we are. There's Andrew's little car. Uh, this is the second coat of the blue paint that we've tried. Uh, this time, the regulator set correctly. I made sure that I was punching air at uh, 20 psi, and I had my volume of my paint turned up just ever so slightly on the airbrush with the heavy needle setup. And this is what I've got, and we'll see what we get for pictures here. I don't know if any of them are going to really turn out on this camera with video, but you can see there's a slight orange peeling effect on any larger surface through here, in the hood, in the back, the trunk lid, and it's not so bad. Everything else seems to be alright. Um, doing some little research here. It looks like this is due to humidity and right now we're in a bit of a, a very humid stretch and then the rest of the week come from rain as well. So I don't think we'll get any better. This is probably best. Um, some other research has told me that probably the best fit to do now is uh, some clear coats. Uh, three coats minimum, probably more like five. I guess in, I guess it's depending on how heavy your, um, your orange peel is. You can get that to come out. But I'm happy with my results. Uh, airbrushing. Definitely is a, is a, it's not as hard as it sounds once you get your mixing figured out and you know, some playing. It's like practice on something like this. Uh, it's not that bad. Like I said, this is spray, spray painted with just a tester's blue. And it's mixed uh, three parts paint to two parts thinner using universal testers enamel thinner. Uh, very simple. I suggest anyone who gets an airbrush or wants to think of getting one, grab one of these cheap units. Practice it works for you. Go up with stuff there. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this little series of videos of airbrushing and chronicling this little vehicle. All right, guys, how are we going? Adios.